Now look at part two. For each question, choose the correct answer. Eight. You will hear two friends talking about doing exercise. Hi, Tom. How are you? Fine, thanks. But I need to get more exercise. Hmm. You could join a gym. The one at the end of your road's expensive, but it has lots of good machines. I know, but it's when to go. I'm at work all day, often till late. There's a swimming pool near my office, but it's always crowded there. The best option's probably cycling to work. Bikes cost a lot, so I guess I'll end up spending as much as I would on going to the gym. But I think I'll look for one anyway. Now listen again. Hi, Tom. How are you? Fine, thanks. But I need to get more exercise. Hmm. You could join a gym. The one at the end of your road's expensive, but it has lots of good machines. I know, but it's when to go. I'm at work all day, often till late. There's a swimming pool near my office, but it's always crowded there. The best option's probably cycling to work. Bikes cost a lot, so I guess I'll end up spending as much as I would on going to the gym. But I think I'll look for one anyway. Nine. You will hear two people talking in a restaurant. What did you think of the meal? The soup had an unusual flavour. I thought it needed more pepper and garlic, but the salmon was wonderful. It took a while to come, but my tuna was gorgeous. Lots of butter and herbs. I'd love to have the recipe. I'm not so sure about the dessert you had, though. It looked a bit strange. I thought it was really nice. In fact, I'd say it was my favourite part of the meal. But unfortunately, I couldn't eat it all. I'm not a fan of desserts. I'd rather have a bigger main dish. Now listen again. What did you think of the meal? The soup had an unusual flavour. I thought it needed more pepper and garlic, but the salmon was wonderful. It took a while to come, but my tuna was gorgeous. Lots of butter and herbs. I'd love to have the recipe. I'm not so sure about the dessert you had, though. It looked a bit strange. I thought it was really nice. In fact, I'd say it was my favourite part of the meal. But unfortunately, I couldn't eat it all. I'm not a fan of desserts. I'd rather have a bigger main dish. Ten. You will hear a woman telling her friend about her neighbours. How are you getting on with your new neighbours? Well, they always smile and say hello. I think they have a lot of visitors because I hear them chatting and playing music in the evenings. Oh, that's annoying, especially if you need to sleep. Actually, I don't mind. I can sleep through anything, and they won't be able to complain if I make a noise. But what bothers me is the mess they've left outside. Loads of empty boxes from when they moved in. I think I'll have a chat with them, but I don't want to seem rude. Now listen again. How are you getting on with your new neighbours? Well, they always smile and say hello. I think they have a lot of visitors because I hear them chatting and playing music in the evenings. Oh, that's annoying, especially if you need to sleep. Actually, I don't mind. I can sleep through anything, and they won't be able to complain if I make a noise. But what bothers me is the mess they've left outside. Loads of empty boxes from when they moved in. I think I'll have a chat with them, but I don't want to seem rude. Eleven. You will hear two friends talking about a new museum.
have you been to the new history museum in the high street yet? Yes, it's fantastic, isn't it? There was so much to see. The displays of 19th century costumes were brilliant. I'm amazed you enjoyed looking at that kind of thing, though, especially the fashion stuff. I really wanted to stay at the museum longer. It's a shame it closes so early. Anyway, I wouldn't mind having another look around, but I'll have to wait until next weekend, as that's when I'm not working. Now listen again. Have you been to the new history museum in the high street yet? Yes, it's fantastic, isn't it? There was so much to see. The displays of 19th century costumes were brilliant. I'm amazed you enjoyed looking at that kind of thing, though, especially the fashion stuff. I really wanted to stay at the museum longer. It's a shame it closes so early. Anyway, I wouldn't mind having another look around, but I'll have to wait until next weekend, as that's when I'm not working. Twelve. You will hear a man talking to a colleague about a hotel he stayed in. How was the hotel you stayed in? It was comfortable enough and easy to reach from the station, but it wasn't walking distance from the city centre, which is how it was advertised. It looked closer on the map. It was on a main road so that was convenient for taxis. But there was lots of traffic. I was worried it'd be noisy in my room at night, but I hardly heard anything. Would you recommend it for me and my husband? I was in a double room, and there was only just enough space. Fine for me, but not really big enough for two. Now listen again. How was the hotel you stayed in? It was comfortable enough and easy to reach from the station, but it wasn't walking distance from the city centre, which is how it was advertised. It looked closer on the map. It was on a main road, so that was convenient for taxis. But there was lots of traffic. I was worried it'd be noisy in my room at night, but I hardly heard anything. Would you recommend it for me and my husband? I was in a double room, and there was only just enough space. Fine for me, but not really big enough for two. Thirteen. You will hear two passengers talking on an aeroplane. Ah, oh, we've finally taken off. Oh, I'm so pleased. It's a while since I've flown, but I recently started a new job, and the long distances I need to travel for it just make flying a better option than the train. I know what you mean. I do this same journey every month when I visit my family. They live a long way from the capital. I get nervous flying, but it's just so much easier than any other form of transport. That's absolutely true, but I can never get comfortable in the seat. I like watching movies, though, to pass the time. Now listen again. Ah, oh, we've finally taken off. Ah, oh, I'm so pleased. It's a while since I've flown, but I recently started a new job, and the long distances I need to travel for it just make flying a better option than the train. I know what you mean. I do this same journey every month when I visit my family. They live a long way from the capital. I get nervous flying but it's just so much easier than any other form of transport. That's absolutely true, but I can never get comfortable in the seat. I like watching movies, though, to pass the time. That is the end of part two.